This better be good. Where are you? Ashton is six. Six in the morning. Sun hasn't even risen. Hell, my brain ain't even awake yet. What do you need? Get your ass here, pronto. Here? Uh, hold, hold on. Can't this wait until I'm actually awake? No, Rebecca's not.
Here is where, Ash. I'm in Guard Memorial Hospital. ER. Becca's already there. I need to be off somewhere. Just get there, please. Did Isabella ever feel this way when she visits her father? Rebecca, I'm here. Wake up. Zack, did Ash call you in? Pretty much. Woke me up, actually. Said it was urgent. What happened? He didn't tell you? Not really. He just said I needed to be here. Is everything all right? It sounded pretty urgent when he called. The way that guy phrased it, I thought for sure you had gotten into an accident or something. Sorry, Zachary. It's just been a long night. I don't really know how I'm supposed to break this to you. Ashton should be the one doing this, but... The guy's busy again. No worries. You could tell me anything. No, it's... It's Isabella. I'm afraid I can't quite follow, ma'am. You weren't entirely wrong. But it wasn't me, obviously. Last night, she... She got into an accident. A car accident. She was hurt pretty bad, and they had to rush her here. How bad exactly are we talking about here, Rebecca? Critical. But, I don't know, I didn't see her myself. When I came here, she was already in the ER. 
has been since last night. The doctors haven't said anything since then. And Ash? He's looking into the crash. He hasn't called again, but he promised to keep us updated. I called her out, you know? I promised I'll treat her to dinner if she gets out of her room. I was only hoping it would cheer her up after the news. The one about her co-worker yesterday. And now... I should've just kept my mouth shut. If I did, then maybe she'd still be... Hey, don't blame yourself. You had no idea this would happen. An accident is an accident. If there's someone you should hold responsible for this, it's that... that ass who ran her over. Ash will find that guy, don't worry. I wish it were that easy. God. It's one after another, Zachary. And no one will tell me anything. I came in here asking for her and all they said was, She's in critical condition, ma'am. What are we supposed to do? I want to do something. I need to do something. But I can't. Not when she's still in there. Still, still fighting for her life. I know you're worried, Rebecca. We all are. But you have to think about yourself, too. I'll be straight with you. You look like you're a few steps away from falling over. How do you think Bella will react if she sees you like this right now? You don't have to mince words with me. Just say I look like horse dung, Zachary. I won't be mad. All right, ma'am. You look like you stepped and rolled in a pile of horse dung today. Not the same thing, but the way you are... There doesn't seem to be any difference. There. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> but, yeah. She'll scold me. Believe me. Belle will. She whines with how bossy I am every time. But she doesn't realize how she's every bit of a mother hen as I am. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> and then maybe she'll laugh after. She never does stay mad with anyone for long. That she does. Or you could always offer her food. You don't have to tell me. That has always been a last resort. It works every time. <laughs> Look at us talking like she's gone and left us. I'm sure it's nothing like that. I think... I think this is just us hoping we won't lose her. We won't. You sound very sure. Uh, well, times like this, the only thing left to do is to hope. Maybe pray for the best. 
But I don't want to believe those guys inside aren't doing the best they can to save her. They have to be if they've been at it for hours. And Isabella's... you know how she is. She's stubborn. I think that's a good thing. I... I want to believe she'll make it through because of that alone. <sighs> I'm a mess, aren't I? One unfortunate incident, and I'm all ready to give up hope. Can't even keep myself together when nothing final has been said yet. We all are. A mess, I mean. In more ways than one. They have to keep monitoring her. But she's okay now? We'll just have to wait? Not... Uh, not exactly. She isn't out of the woods yet. But alive, right? I mean, she's here. Even with all this stuff attached to her, she's gonna be fine, yeah? I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. The doctors, they had to put her in an induced coma. 
They had to, after the seizures. It wasn't looking good. Something about the trauma and the head injury from the accident did that. I know I should have listened better. I'm sorry, Zachary. Half of it didn't even sink in. All I understood was she's on life support now, but... Oh, but they aren't expecting her to make it. Her chances aren't good from the start. They can't just say that. They don't know her. I... I'll talk to them. They'll see reason if I just... I did, all right. Already did. I told them to get their asses together. Even made them promise to try. But you mentioned they still have to monitor her. That means they haven't given up on her, right? They haven't. I insisted. But with how things are, they said she might never wake up. And if she ever does, she might not be the same anymore. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I was angry when I told them that, and it just came out of my mouth. Maybe they're right. Maybe I should have just let them... You did the right thing, Rebecca. You don't know that. What if she doesn't want this? Do you see all of these? Wires and tubes and bandages everywhere. She's... she's barely herself, clinging to dear life as it is. She can't even hear us. Doesn't even know there are people here worried sick for her. The point is, she's still here. Don't beat yourself up over what ifs. This ain't over for her, I. Right? I've seen people recover from even worse. Have some faith in her. I do have faith in her. <sighs> you know what? I think this is just a lack of sleep talking. You've been here since when? Last night? Go get some rest, Miss Gales. But Isabella's... I'll take care of her, don't you worry. We can do shifts if you want. But go home first. We'll talk about that later when you ain't looking like you're about to fall apart. If you keep going like this, you're the one who'll end up here next. <laughs> this feels like a conversation I had with Isabella a few days ago. I said the exact same thing to her. <laughs> then maybe it's a sign you should rest. Let me take over from now. Maybe. But I'll keep that in mind. Are you sure you'll be fine alone? I'll come back this evening. So if you need anything picked up, I can get it for you. Nah, no problem on that front. Besides, if I do need something, my apartment's just a few blocks away. Skip and a hop, that's all I need. Focus on getting some sleep. Let me take care of this for a few hours. Do it for everyone's sake, hmm? Oh, you'll do. Thanks, Zachary. If something changes with her, promise me you'll call. You'll be the first one to know, ma'am. Well, if it comes to that, I hope the news I bring will be better than the one we got this morning. Crazy thing having to wake up to this. I hope so, too. I'll see you later.
This is stupid. How long have you been here? Just came in a few seconds ago. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Figures. It's not a problem. You probably need to rest anyway. You're the one talking. You look like shit. <laughs> so I've been told. Seriously. How long have you been up? 18, 20 hours or so? It doesn't matter. I'll get some shut-eye later. Where's Rebecca? I sent her home early, but she'll be back too. It's not mine. Always prepared, ain't you? I just packed what she'll be needing for a few days. I figured it'll be easier for me to bring her things since I live next door. Go take a break now, Zachary. I'll stay with her until tomorrow when her aunt gets here. She's flying over from the other side of the country. Had she had to file a leave to get here as soon as possible. Oh, what a mess all of this is. Don't you have class tomorrow? You sure about that? I can always call for a leave, too. I've got plenty, since I rarely ever use those. Someone has to stay here after... No, I'll take it from here. You don't have to do that. Zachary and I can handle this for a few days. Both of you already had your turn with this. It wouldn't hurt to have another person helping out. This isn't some sort of a competition, Ash. We're doing this because someone has to be here for her. I'm not making this one. I just volunteered, didn't I? Don't you have an investigation to finish? And Zach has freelance gigs in line for the next few days. You have students to teach. Don't push it, Becca. 
All three of us have things to take care of on our own, but between us, it should be easier to find some time to- Fine. Good. Do what you want. You go ahead, Zack. I'll take over for now. You sure this is fine? Yeah, sure. It's not like this is a hard task. I'll probably get more sleep here than if I stay at the precinct or in my car. I'll call when something changes with Isabella, if that's what you're concerned about. You ain't worried? About what? This, everything, the accident, I don't know, you tell me. You were there, weren't you? About this, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I'll find out myself who did this and make sure that bastard gets his just desserts. He? So you do have an idea who? Vaguely, but nothing conclusive yet. I'd rather not say anything until we've got everything sorted out. It's... it's a huge mess. This and that other case. It might even be related for all we know. Thinking about it gives me a headache. Do me a favor, Zack. Make sure you keep away from the rights this time. Tell Rebecca the same thing. I'll remember that. See you later. If you catch up to Becca... Make sure she gets home safe. Will do. Go get some sleep yourself.
sleep anyway. They do seem like the good folk, though, despite the whole fame thing.
What on earth? Damn, that was too careless. It could pass off for one of those supernatural pictures they show on TV, though. <laughs> Zach, is something the matter? Oh, oh no, no, there, there, there's nothing wrong. I, I just remembered something that's all. Let's get back to the pictures. Can you move a bit more to the left, yeah?
Somehow those urban legends don't sound so silly now. Let's just hope I'm lucky enough today. Not even for just one minute? No. The case was dismissed, remember? You were the one handling that case. <sighs> if you want access to those records, you've got to ask Chief. I was taken off it before shit went to hell. Why do you even bother? Even Professor Clark seems to have given up on that. Well, I... <sighs> Never mind, you won't understand. Right. I know you owe Professor Clark a lot, but the right guy isn't just someone you mess with. They've got the money. Who knows what else gets swept under the rug with them involved. <laughs> that takes a special kind of ignorant not to know. And a smart person to know which boundaries he can't cross. You're a bright guy, you'll figure it out. In any case, I've got to get going. Another missing person case on my hand. Benjamin on the front desk looks like he's about to maul someone after the fourth one yesterday. Murders, people missing, what a time to be alive. Man, I miss the old Luxburn. You and me both. I'll see ya. Gonna go grab some lunch. Sorry, I haven't gotten a chance to check any of my messages yet. I was looking up something. You sure you can still step out like that? Yeah, no problem. I need to get out anyway. What are you doing here in the first place? Well, I was hoping you could check something for me. But you don't appear to be... Over lunch. I haven't eaten anything since last night, and Benjamin there doesn't really like loiterers around here.
news about Bella's condition? No change since I left yesterday. Rebecca visited last night, said something about an aunt taking things from here. I didn't hear most of it. I was needed back at the precinct, but I'll probably drop by again later to see if I can help. I think it's the one who helped to get the job at BRC. Really? I only just found out. I thought Isabella was living alone all this time. Well, I assume since Becca is her emergency contact. She is living alone, technically. Her aunt's working pretty far from here. She only mentioned her in passing before. Can't very well help the family when her aunt has her own set of mouths to feed. Bella had to be the one to take the job. Something like that. And it ain't even like she'd want someone else to do the work. If she can, she'll do it herself. <laughs> She's stubborn, that's what she is. You shouldn't talk. When was the last time you slept? I took a short nap in the break room. For more than four hours, dude. Not a nap. A few days ago? I don't remember. I got some sleep back at the hospital, though. Should be good. That was two days ago. It doesn't matter. We could be in danger right now and not even know it. I need to get this mess sorted before anything else happens. Taking a day off wouldn't hurt. Are you kidding me? While the one who ran her over is still out there? They left her lying in the road, bleeding, almost half dead. Now she's stuck in some damn hospital and may never wake up. I don't think so, Zack. Are things really that bad? You're looking at me right now? What do you think? Cut back on the sarcasm, Ash. I really want to know what's happening here. Traffic cams were useless, and those were supposed to be high def to begin with. Damn, huge waste of taxpayers' money when we can't even use it when we need it. The people at Tech have been at it since we got hold of the footage, and all they managed to salvage were the scant few seconds before she crossed the road. How does that help? Well, there must be some use in that alone. Like, maybe someone pushed her? There was no one else. She just stopped right in the middle of the road. Just right in the fucking middle. It's like there was something there that prevented her from crossing. I just don't know what. Zack, Isabella's not that stupid. There was something there. That's what made her stop, and the traffic cams didn't catch it. Something... Or 
someone. Someone was there. Uh, actually, if we're going to talk about someone, maybe this has something to do with it as well. Hana, right? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. How did you... The locket. She never takes it off. Evan's family heirloom. You never mentioned you got work from them. Yesterday, yeah. It's just a small feature for a magazine. Interviews, photos, standard stuff, nothing big. But see, here's the thing. I don't know how else to put this out there without sounding crazy, but there really is something odd with that place. Remember the letter? Please tell me this isn't about that again. No, Ash, you've got to listen this time. I am listening, and I can't believe that just came out of your mouth. These are some blurred out photos, and that letter is just a stupid prank. I expected this from Isabella, not you. You're the photographer here. I don't see any need to get worked up over this. I know what you mean, but will you hear me out first? Ash, I don't easily buy into these things as much as you do. Yesterday, though, behind Hana. Hana? Since when were you on a first name basis with the right missus? Why, why does that even matter? I thought you said this was just a gig. Bro, it's really just another freelance work. And there's nothing going on with me and Miss Hana. She was just being friendly. Insisted I call her by her first name. That's all. Believe me, it got awkward fast after that. I wasn't implying any of that. You're not that sort of guy. I know, but let's just get that out of the way. The just-in-case elephant in the room scenario, I. She's a married woman, Jesus! Not with the image she presents in public. No, but trust me, she ain't any of the things the tabloid writes about her. Like I read any of those. I know you don't. But 
keep it in mind, will you? Will do. Though I can't promise you'll get off scot-free if she's involved. Man, without your acting, it feels like I'm doing a solid for your girlfriend. Cut, cut, cut that out, will you? And, and, and I'm not asking you to. Besides, what's currently going on here is more important. All right, lay it in. I can't stop you if you're willing to believe in this crap. Give this guy a call. You're better off talking to him than me. He's at the public library now if you want to catch him there. He used to be my professor back in the university. Oh, no, I, I don't think that's... Go on. I already gave him a heads up. You know I can't help you out, man. Ashton's friend, I take it. Zachary. <laughs> You'll have to forgive this old man if I don't get your name right. Oh, no, you got it. It's Zach. Zachary Steele, Professor Clark. Ashton told me you were hoping to get answers from me. Although I'm not quite sure what I could share, I'll do my best to help.
Do you believe in the paranormal, Professor? It's supernatural, actually. Don't worry. It's a common mistake to make, but they really are two different things. The other one deals with what we can't explain at the moment, while the other are things we may not have an explanation to. Here. A friend of mine wrote that a few years ago. He took interest in the city after reading about the stories. I have to agree with him here. Even stories dealing with things you don't see with the naked eye can be rife with culture, and this city thrives on it. Just ask the locals. Like ghosts, for example. <laughs> Among other things. The interpretation has changed over the years, though. Various religions, for example, have their own version. It might not always be a spirit now. It could be a memory, or an imprint, an echo, so to speak. Some are born from curses, even, out of great anger, hatred, or pain. There was this one story. Ah, here it is. In the end, it asks for something to be sacrificed in order to destroy whatever anchors the wraith. A sad tale, that one, but the simplest grudge can bring the ugliest, even in the kindest person, with some people none the wiser. Oh, I'm sorry. I just went on. Nah, it's good. Are you familiar with the Ermine God Mansion, though? <laughs> of course. That goes without saying. Who hasn't heard of the local legend? Although, word of the mouth is, someone has already bought it. Ah, yeah. The right couple. It was a close friend who handled that sale. So I heard. Well, don't think the house being bought by anyone would stop us from talking about it. What is it about the mansion, then? I just want to ask what you think of it, sir. <laughs> We're going to need more than an afternoon for that, young man. You see... It's the kind that has changed over the years, passed down from one person to the next. Sometimes, it's the Lord William who haunts the place. There are versions where it's the lady of the house. But my favorite, a personal favorite, would have to be the ones that followed after the disappearance of the kind daughter. Well, what about these then? Hmm, when were these taken? Just the other day. Do you think those are the same? Perhaps. Perhaps not. There were certainly instances when the film would pick up what the human eyes were unable to see. But then, it could also have been human error. I didn't edit it in any way. You have my word on that, Professor. They all just came out like that. Then, if it is what you're thinking... I'd strongly advise against doing something reckless and further tangling with them. Accounts about them may be riveting to you, but most of it often ends in an unpleasant manner. What about those people in the house? If there is something in there, shouldn't they know? I'm sure they're already familiar with the legends, but... Some people might deserve it, however. Deserve what, sir? Professor? I'm sorry. I just remembered something I neglected to do. You'll have to excuse me, Zachary. Uh, all right. Do you need any help with that? Don't let my looks fool you, son. I can still carry a few hundreds. I've been doing this for years. Uh, I'll see you some other time if you have any other questions. 
Uh, of course. It was nice knowing you, Professor. Good this time. Please don't leave. Please stay.
London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Take a key and lock him up, lock him up, lock him up. Take a key and lock him up, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Take a key and lock him up, lock him up, lock him up. Take a key and lock him up, my Hey, mister! Hey, kid. Kylie. Kylie? That's my name. Mama said it's rude not to call people by their names. Oh, sorry. Uh, nice to meet you, Kylie. Is Mama here? No, but my big brother's with me. He's taking pictures with his camera over there. So we 
interesting with the tip of a building, though. I'd take pictures of dogs if I were him. They're cuter. Do you have a camera too, mister? Yeah, I'm actually a photographer. Mama said I'm too young to get a camera. I'm sure your mama will eventually give you one. But won't you be late for school like this? Big Brother will get us there on time. Rowan promised Papa we aren't going to be late. It's sports day. So it's not good if you keep looking like that today. If it ends up raining and we lose, it's your fault. All right, I'll try not to upset the clouds today, kid. Is it because you're sick, mister? No, not sick. Just having a very, very bad day. Why is that? Is that like when my big brother ate all of my pudding? He did that once and I cried. It wasn't very nice of him. Yeah, I think so. You see, there's this mean girl. She's giving my friends and I a lot of trouble. Hard to keep up when things are like that, you know? Especially when you can't do anything. It's kind of scary. Makes you wish things will just stay as peaceful as they used to be. <laughs> Maybe she just wants to be friends with you? I highly doubt that. She already hurt one of my friends. What if she's just sad? Or, or maybe she just wants help? That's what happened with Melody. I let her borrow my crayon when she left hers. Now we're playmates. It's not really the same thing, Kylie. What she did, they're pretty bad things. Hmm. I still think there's another reason. Did you try talking to her? That's what Mama said I should do. <laughs> I don't think that'll work either. You haven't even tried yet. You sound like Rowan. You're just scared, mister. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's <laughs> yeah, nothing. You're a really smart kid, you know that? You better get to school, though, or you'll miss sports day. You should have won yourself some awards, all right? All right. Can I show it to you when I do? That can cheer people up, right? Nah, I'm good now, I think. Thanks to you. Besides, uh, Mr. Needs to go. But you should show it to Mama and Papa. I'm sure they'll be proud of you, Kylie. I will! Thanks, Mister! Bye!
But aren't you going to help me, mister? With what? What do you think, mister? Are you going to help me? What do you want from us? Hello? Mister? Are you okay? I really need to go, Kylie. It, it was nice meeting you. See you again, mister! Sub Z man. Ash, how many times do I have to tell you not to call me Z-Man? And stop breaking into my apartment! Call the cops on you, but doing that feels like a joke in itself because you are one. I didn't. You gave me a key the last time I did that, remember? After the last one you broke? I can't keep replacing the knob just because you think it'd be amusing to lockpick the hell out of it. And hey, is that my... Wait all of it! I was saving that one for the weekend! I'll replace it. <sighs> what exactly is this about? I know I said some real weird things the other day. If this is still about that, I'm not taking it back. It wasn't just a trick of the eye.
No, you're right. There really are some odd things going on here lately. Wait, what? Did I just hear you say that? I'm not kidding, Zack. Speaking of the other day, did you meet with Andrew last time? Yeah, at the library. He was, uh... What did he say about the photographs? Huh? Oh, uh... There's no guarantee it's a supernatural thing. It doesn't always happen, so... That's a dead end right there. Now that I think about it, bothering that guy for this feels pretty silly now. But with the dreams lately... That's all? Did he say anything about the damn letter at all? Did you ask him even? Yeah, that's really everything. The letter kind of slipped my mind. The photos were more important at that time. There was some stuff about the local horror stories, though. Uh, talked about the curses, and he was really fascinated with the story about a wraith asking for a sacrifice to move on. Kinda nasty if you ask me, but it does make sense if you simply go along with it. I'm not sure how this will help in the grand scheme of things. Why are you asking about this anyway? Becca's... Becca's been saying weird things lately. Weird like... Same kind of weird Isabella says. I bro, stop right there. I thought you didn't believe in this stuff. I still don't, but even Rebecca, out of all people, claims there's something. Whatever this is, someone has got to look into it. Everything about this screams shady. Are you sure you even have the time? Ain't you busy with your current case? I got taken off that one this morning. Didn't you say you were getting closer to... Apparently the higher-ups think I'm doing a horrendous job at it. It doesn't matter though. If these two cases are connected like I initially thought, then regardless, I'm on the right track. Have you seen the news this morning? You think this is... I don't know what to think, Zack. I just know there's something. There must be. There has to be. Fuck! Well, you do have something in mind, I'm, I'm sure. A, a, a plan? Come on, Ash. You're good with that. I do! I'm just not sure if I'll get anything out of it. Well, a plan is better than no plan at all, ain't it? I should have looked into this when she was still here. Maybe none of this would have happened if I did.
Becca and I are still here. Don't count Isabella out yet. No matter what the doctor said, I, I want to believe she'll pull through. We'll manage, one way or another. Don't make it sound so easy. We have no idea what we're dealing with here. I ain't saying it will be, but we gotta do something, yeah? Make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. You have a point. I always do. You just don't listen. What's wrong, Ash? Is there... is there something I can do? No, just... just say where you are. I can't do that. No can do, Ash. Ask me anything but that. No way in hell I'm gonna pretend there ain't a problem when there is. This is a really big one, and I'll be damned if I let anything happen to you guys while I sit here. I'm done running when things get tough. What? You think you have a better plan? Who knows if it's better? At least it's something. If all this is going to do is put you in danger, then I'd rather you not do anything at all. I never want to wake up to that kind of thing again. Finding out one of my friends was left for dead in the middle of the street. One person is enough. This is still better than having no other course of action, yeah? Look, bro, if things ain't good, I'll be the first one out. But allow me this one thing, I right? Just this one time. If it doesn't work out, you'll be the first one to know. You can laugh then, oberate me all you want. But please don't ask me to step aside like I'm incapable of doing anything to help. Do what you want. If you can check in with Rebecca, I'd appreciate it.
you here, I can help. That's what the letter's for, ain't it? You don't have to keep taking people's lives. I can't run. Not this time.
Damn it! I knew I should have asked him before I let him leave. knock at such an ungodly hour. Where's that damn butler when I need him? You? How the hell did you get in here? What in seven hells do you want? It's bloody six in the morning! Listen, sir, I know this is not a good time. Oh, it's not a good time! Did you even check the clock before coming here? I bet you didn't! Unlike you, the ones living in this house need to sleep. Come back when people are actually awake, or I'll call security on you. Wait, sir, you, you gotta hear me out! You're both in danger if you stay in there! Have you seen the news lately? Everything's not a coincidence!
You're around, ain't you? You hear? Inside this house? Listening, watching, or oh, whatever it is that you spirits do? What did they do to you? I can help you, you know? If it'll let you move on, I'll gladly do so. You don't have to kill anyone. Yo, Ash, you there? He needs to realize what exactly it is he's dealing with.
Hello? Are you here? I, I heard someone earlier, and I'm, I'm here to help. I'm not going to hurt you. If you're here, say something. I thought I heard a servant moving around here. Turns out it's just a rat scurrying about. How unpleasant. The same what you think it is. You're quite the distance from the kitchen, I'm afraid. Perhaps I should lead you there. So someone's in here before me. I wasn't here for what you're thinking. There was sobbing and... Listen to me! Then again, dirty thieves aren't welcome in my kitchen either.